Yo, this is the time of place, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. We have done it, guys. Another crystal has been restored. The fourth one is gone to us. Now we see five, six, and seven. We only have three left, and then it's up to fight against Ganon. So we're getting there. We're getting there. More importantly, though, we got ourselves a new glove last time. The uh, Titan's Mitt. Now we can open up these big black things. These, you know, these big black rocks. And this also gives a lot of options. Also, um, if we go here, these things here could not be picked up without the Titan's Mitt. Now we can. Which is kind of cool. Now, if you came here early, you see there was a frog here. When you found the frog, you get him back to the smith in the light world to, to be able to temper his sword. The result? Yeah. Check it out. My sword is orange. Because... Now, it's level 3. That's cool, right? It's really, really nice. But there's one more thing. You see, after you reunite the, the smiths in the light world and attempt your sword, then go back to the location of the smith in the dark world. And oh, if you haven't done this yet, uh, when you go here the first time after you have to get the titan smith, take your magic hammer out and pawn all of these things down to open up this thing here, because down here there is a piece of heart. Now if you go to where the smith's house was in the dark world, after you temper your sword, more, very important, after you temper the sword, Come back here and you'll see the treasure chest with a weird color. Because the key is locked inside this chest, you can never open it. Just take it with you. Um. okay. So we can't open it because the key is inside. Then why do we bring it then? Well, there is someone in Hyrule that can open this chest without needing up a key. Who is it though? There's someone we haven't met for a long time. He was near the entrance of the second dungeon, the uh, Desert Palace. In the light world, obviously. Get this guy. It's kinda cool though, we, we still have this nice attack here. This thing here as well. Goes down in a single hit. Pretty cool. So in order for us to proceed here, we're gonna take this chest here, we're gonna bring it all the way down. Oh, that, this guy actually survived. Interesting. Maybe only hit by the beam. You wanna bring this chest all the way back to the close entrance to the actual desert palace up here. Wow. I guess that must be the reason I guess I got hit. Oh, yeah. Sometimes your chest will lose you. Just go into it to bring it with you. Now, we always remember this location to go to the Desert Palace, but you can't go here because the place is blocked in the Dark World. No worries, I'm not gonna go to the Misery Mire yet. We'll get there eventually. However, when you are here, bring out your magic mirror and head to the Light World. The chest will follow you. Kill this guy quickly. Now, more importantly, this guy here. I heard that you know you used to be a thief, right? Well, I'll open the chest for you. Will you keep it a secret from everyone else? Would you please promise? Uh, promise not to tell. And he opened the chest, and look at it—it's a magic bottle. That's right. This guy has given us another magic bottle from the chest. And now. We have them all. Four bottles. Very, very nice. We need to fill them up, though. We only have one fairy left, and it's going to be important to have these ones prepared. Um, speaking of which, let's go grab some more items. Our next item is actually located in the light world. And to get there... Um, doesn't really matter where you go. You can go to the Kakariko village or you can go to. You can go to the, this place here. Doesn't really matter. Nah, let's just go to Kakariko village. Kakariko village doesn't really have any song anymore. Does it? Yeah. Kinda sad though. 
The Kakariko Village music is gone after you go to the Dark World. Anyway, charge away and go far, 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 far. I'm gonna go all the way to the graveyard. This is the graveyard. Because I can see, there are some blocks here. Remember these ones we could open, like, usually, and these ones we can now open as well. Let's get rid of these uh, specters, or ghosts. Now this thing here. This thing you cannot go to this uh, graveyard, can't enter without having the Titans met. Now we have it. Pop it up, and pop this one off, and... Well, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Well, if we can't budge it with just moving it or pushing it, maybe we just need to use some more horsepower! As you can see, we're kind of far away now, but that's fine. But charge forth! Oh. I'm glad I didn't eject the fairy the flute there. Doesn't matter, we go inside. Because here we have a very nice treasure. A new item! Say hello to... This is the magic cape. You are invisible when you wear it. Watch your magic meter. What does this mean? Let me show you. Go to magic cape. Use it. You're invisible. Look at the magic meter on the left though. You will consume power as long as you're invisible. You can dodge enemies, you can dodge uh, projectiles, you can even dodge some ob certain objects. Which is one of the reasons why you want this, because it's going to be very, very important. So the magic cape is now ours, and with the magic cape we can now get some more pieces of heart, because they're only able to get it as long as it's, as it's, uh, as it's equipped. Cool, that's kind of cool, right? So we got a magic cape, we got a new bottle, but we're not done yet. No, we have more to do. First thing we want to do, though, is to get back to the dark world. So we have to actually go all the way back to the place in the uh, Lost Woods. Because the uh, next the next item I'm going to grab, a piece of heart, is located near the entrance to uh, Skull Woods. So we need to actually go up here and find the... Uh, find the portal here. I gotta tell you though, it's very refreshing to kill these uh, blue guards with a single hit instead of having to hit him three times like we did when we had the... Oh! And now we can hear the, hear the sound now. Sounds better, right? Much better. But yeah, well, now that we uh, got ourselves some new items, it's more so much better to do things. Go up here, put this tongue here, and enter the dark world. Now can they pick up this thing? So we can go all the way back to the village of outskirts right away. Then charge. And then head to the right. Here we go. Now if you do remember... In... Um, if you do remember in uh, the light world, there were some... Um, there were some people that were cutting down a tree, right? Up here. Let's get rid of this snapdragon thing here. It's kind of crazy, dangerous. Are there even people living in this place? It's actually a shop now. Bombs, shield, and a health potion. I guess it can't be useful. Anyway, look there. There's a piece of heart, and now I'm gonna go and grab it. But be careful, that bird thing there hits like a truck. You see, three hearts it took away from getting hit by that one. Let's go inside this cave here. You yeah, have one of these enemies again from the past. You have these bumpers. Oh, I thought it was hit by a bumper. My bad. Now, if you go upstairs here. As you can see, we can just fall down to where we came from. But, since we now have the hook shot, we can get past. Then there's a problem here. 
There's a bumper here. And we can't get past the bumper. Or can we? We can! Because with the magic cape... Look. We're past. That's one reason why I don't get the magic cape now, because it's the only way I can get past the bumper now. Or we're able to get past. Go outside. And the piece of heart is ours! And since we got the four piece now, we have another heart container! Which means we only have four more pieces of heart to find before we collect them all, because there are three more dungeons to complete, which each have a heart container. That means we have 19 hearts, and the last heart is basically the piece of heart, so we have four more to collect. Pretty nice! Now let's go and grab at least two more for this episode. And the remaining two we have to wait until we get to Turtle Rock, sadly. We can get one of those two uh, right now, but nah, let's just wait for it. Because one of them we can only get in Turtle Rock, and the other two um, we can't get before... The other one we can get sort of with it. Anyway, let's take the magic mirror. Let's go down here first. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Wow, hits me twice. What an asshole. Let's just use the... Uh, let's use the magic mirror to get back to the light world. Now let's use the flute to travel to a new location we haven't been before. You see, if we go to location number 6, you get here. This is the down, southern down part of the uh, Desert of Mystery, of where we get the second dungeon. However, as you can see, it also has a teleportation pad, and we can enter the Misery Mire. This location of the 6th dungeon, we won't be going 6th dungeon for now, because we're gonna go to the 5th dungeon first, but the 6th dungeon location also has a piece of heart for us to collect, that's why I'm gonna go here right away. Be careful some enemies here. Now sadly the only way to get to the Misery Mire is to use the uh, flute in the Light World, because the, the whole Misery Mire is locked off, can't enter. If we go in here though, this place has a price. Watch out for these things. Go past, move these uh, blocks, get 50 of these, and a piece of heart. Cool! So now we collected a total of two part pieces today, and we still have one more we're gonna collect. This is also located up here. At the bottom here, charge all the way up here, and then use the magic mirror. Um, not exactly like there though. As you can see, there was a big rock there, but let's say that's here. There, much better. Then you take and open up this here, and we can go down. And there's another piece of heart waiting for us. There we go! Now there's only more, two more pieces of hearts remaining, and they're both located at Death Mountain in the Dark World, so we'll be getting there eventually, but don't worry. Well, that's a sort of a cool episode so far, haven't we done? So let's just recap what we've done so far. We got ourselves the fourth and final bottle, got the magic cape, and we have, we have gotten three pieces of hearts, including one heart container, and now there's only two more pieces of heart remaining that we can collect in this game, they're both in Death Mountain, but don't worry, we'll be getting there eventually. But first though, we're gonna go to dungeon number 5 and dungeon number 6 to take care of them before we head to Death Mountain to finish off our stuff. We also have a medallion to collect, but we'll be getting there too. And then, we will sort of be ready. Actually, we can actually go collect the medallion yet now, actually, while we're here. Um, let's see... Let's take the flute and play it. So we can collect one more item before we complete this episode. Let's go to location number five. And then we go in here. This is where the fairies are. Because we need to collect some more fairies in bottles. Come here, fairies. That's one. Keep it. Another one. Keep it. 
And there we go. We're back to full health. And we have four fairies in a bottle. Now we're ready to kick some ass. But that wasn't why we came here though. I came here because we're gonna go to a dark world and we're gonna head over to a location we haven't been in so far actually. Set to a dark world. Sorry, soldier. Not gonna be playing with you today. Because now we are in the dark world and we're going to go head up a little location heading north. Wow, these snapdragons are dangerous. I mean, I mean, they don't really go for you or anything, they just jump around like innocent, but these things and that little bird thing, they hurt. So stay away. This is the location of the first dungeon in Dark World, and it's gonna be, it's been a while since we've been here, but we're not gonna go in back there again, we're done with this location. But instead, we wanna go here, and we wanna go north. Charge all the way up to the top and keep charging. Wish we had a flute in Dark World too, but nah, not gonna be. Not gonna be it, sadly. There we go. Oh! I thought he died. I guess this thing really takes more damage than I thought. Oh, never mind. Now we can't go here all day when we came here because this thing is a regular rock, not a dark one. So remember the waterfall place where we're back in uh, the game when we get the Sora flippers? Well, there's another item we can grab here in the dark world equivalent. If you go up here. Now if you just grab a sign or even something, throw it in the middle here. Then the big fish will come. Was it you who disturbed my peaceful nap? I'll give you this to you if you go away. And it gives us the Quake Medallion. It magic causes the ground to shake and defeats nearby enemies. What's your magic meter? Cool, right? Now why would you do that? Because there's a sign here that says, Curse anyone who throws something into my circle of stones. In other words, it also means, throw something in my circle of stones, because I'm gonna give you something in return. Even though you're uh, an evil guy, but it doesn't matter. Now let's see the, the Quake Medallion in action, shall we? Let's go in here. And... BOOM! Turn into these little cute things. I guess. Anyway, let's just use the magic mirror once again. Because we're about to end this episode, before we end this episode, we're just gonna fly over to our next location. And since the fifth dungeon is in the Lake Helia, Dark World Equivalent, we have to go here. Boom! All these small little things. Ouch! Doesn't matter. Yeah, they still hurt. Don't worry though. Boomerang them. They can't shock you. If they are completely silenced. Now, if you do have some time left, I would suggest you go in here and do use more of your rupees to upgrade your amount of um, of um, <sighs> bumps and arrows. Yeah, just was a bit lost in the words there. When you're done here, then come here and open this thing. Yes, this is a teleportation paddle gets you to Dark World and enter the Ice Palace, the fifth dungeon, which we're gonna do next episode. So next episode we're gonna enter the Ice Palace and then head over to rescue the Maiden. After that we'll go to the Misery Mire in the in southwest, get the Maiden there, and then we're gonna head to Turtle Rock. We're going to go to the seventh dungeon and grab the two remaining heart pieces before we go to Ganon. So we're getting close to the end of the game, guys. Not man, not much left. But we still have some interesting parts because the, even though the last dungeon was short, this one is not. It's quite long, actually. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. And that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time with my journey in the Legend of Zelda.